Well, get ready to pay even more for your energy bill. Starting March 1st or yesterday, PG&E adding a nearly 9% rate hike. KION's Lisa Principe tells us what's behind this latest increase and how that's on top of another increase that just went into effect. Lisa? PG&E already implemented a 9% increase at the beginning of this year. Now adding this new increase, that's almost 20%. PG&E is blaming the rising cost of gas and electricity. We have these rate increases stacked on top of each other, and that's what makes it outrageous. Your PG&E bill is going up again, almost 9% starting March 1st. That's an average of about $14 a month. Month, but it's the second increase so far this year. This 9% increase is on top of an 8% increase January 1. So we have almost a 20% increase in the first three months of 2022. And people aren't happy about the change. When you gas and you got PG&E, it's not a good situation. You know, it's expensive, more expensive for everything. PG&E says this recent cost hike is in response to a few factors, including recent drought conditions, which reduced lower cost hydroelectric power, plus higher natural gas and wholesale electric energy prices. In a statement to KION, PG&E says they passed the cost of energy purchases directly to our customers and do not mark up that cost. These changes occur annually to consolidate rate changes approved by our regulator, the CPUC, or California Public Utility Commission. Mark Tony is the executive director of TURN, the utility reform network, who are pushing the PUC to cap rate increases. This 20% is just the tip of the iceberg. It does not count PG&E asking for a 30% rate increase for 2023. It doesn't count the $5.5 billion they've already spent on wildfire mitigation and haven't gotten the PUC to approve yet. It also doesn't account for the $10.5 billion for undergrounding 3,600 miles of wires. Now, the Mercury News reports that bills could jump by another $30 a month just to bury those power lines. We did reach out to the Pub Public Utilities Commission on why they approved this latest increase. They said that they had no one available to talk. Veronica.